This is Kings Barnes Beach in Fife in the east of Scotland. It's a lovely beach just to chill out, but last weekend the viz was incredible. I mean, this is about as good as it can possibly get. Beautiful shoals of fish. This place is characterized by these series of reefs. And as you swim out, it actually gets shallower and you have to scramble at anything other than the highest of tides. So I had a bit of a clamber over the first reef. And it soon gives way to a kelpy shallows. And another swim for about 100 metres across this, it gradually gets deeper and the kelps start to form these little tufts, like little islands of kelp. So it's really pretty when you can see what you're doing. Most of the time there you can't, but this weekend it was lovely. The sun was shining, the wind was blowing offshore, which was what was keeping the water really clean. It hadn't rained for a while. So I'm out looking for something tasty to eat, and by that I mean lobster and crab. Lots of lovely little nooks and crannies, little shelves. Poking about in holes like this, this is exactly the sort of place I'll find them. And there is one, you see the little pile of detritus it's shoved out in front. Way too small, we're not going to bother that one today. Really nice, isn't it? You could find anything in here, you could find clams, you could find flatfish, all sorts of stuff. I've been spearfishing here in the past, it's not too bad. Brown crab out walking free on the bottom. I've said in some of my other videos that recently the lobsters have been doing this a lot. Typically they only do that at night, they walk out free on the bottom, but I've been noticing that quite a bit lately. Not tucked away in the holes, they're sort of wandering along. This crab has one replacement claw, so it's not quite uh, worth keeping. It's also probably a bit undersized. In fact, it's definitely undersized. Nice to catch it though, and I would definitely be in the mood for a bigger one. See you later. Just loving the viz today. This may not seem like great viz to you, wherever you're from, but for me, around here, amazing. It's that offshore wind. Waves slopping about quite a lot. But that's what's keeping the water clean. See? Out and about. This, this would be normal if you dive at night. Lobsters cruise about on the sand. One theory is there's just a lot of them at the moment. The population, the numbers are very, very big. And various theories as to why. Never mind the theories, that is a big lobster and I'm happy with that. Gripping it like that on the carapace, you can feel it doesn't give, it's rock hard. Which means it's an old shell, which means it's full of meat. It means there's a big lobster that's due a change of shells soon. If the shell's soft, it means there's a small lobster that's just acquired a new shell. But that one is perfect. Here's the scene from above. You're basically just rooting around in the undergrowth. Trying to explore under these little shelves in the rock. That's where the lobsters hang out. Here we go, textbook stuff. See the two red antennae poking out first. Now I don't have my lobster hook today, forgot it. So what I'm going to have to do is come back and try and either just poke my hands in and catch it by hand. Managed to, managed to scrape it out with my hand and it ran out. Picked it up, give it a good feel, is it soft? Flip it over, has it got eggs? It's another cracking lobster. Really happy with this. Well, that's dinner sorted. I've been seeing a lot of this seaweed. It's called Dabalox. I think it's quite pretty. It's quite different from the other seaweeds because it has this sort of central stalk with what looks like 
looks a bit like a feather. Usually seaweeds are all the same sort of tissue type, if you, if you want to call it that. That blocks. I don't think it's rare, it's just nice. King's Barns is a really good place for seaweeds, so it's the professional seaweed collectors come to make it into food products. Never mind the seaweed, let's get back on the lobsters. Far too small that one. Nice to see. This is what I fancy, nice brown crab. I've seen a lot of small lobsters at this point, by the way. I haven't been filming most of them because I've got the GoPro in one hand and I'm um, diving, fishing things out with the other, so it's kind of tricky. Came across this clump of um, old creels. And there was about three, possibly even four, all wrecked and all tied together. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if they've been deliberately dumped or if it was a string of three that just got whipped up in a storm and all tangled together. But they look like they haven't seen any action for a very long time. Another brown crab. Just a wee one. Won't be bothering this one. What are these little things? Anyone know? Often in little shady holes you get these little guys swimming about. It's baby fish or baby shrimp. I really don't know. Never mind the baby shrimps. We are in business, my friends. Look at this one. This is what I have been craving for a while. It's gripped onto a kelp stalk. So as I'm trying to pull it off, the crab just grips on with all its might and they are strong and grippy. So in trying to get the um, crab off, unfortunately the kelp stalk came off. Dropped the crab down and went back to pick it up. Now these, these creatures can really hurt you. A lobster, if it bites you, will hurt you. If this thing bites you, I reckon it could break a bone. They are so strong and they really want to use those claws as well. So the safest way to hold them, it's not like what I'm doing now, but that I'm doing a one hand wonder, see, because I've got the GoPro in the other hand. The best way to hold them is to hold them by the back legs. That way they can't bite you. That's a safe position to hold a crab. Now the reason I'm not putting it in my dive bag is I've got two lobsters in there and this crab will destroy the lobsters. It will munch them apart. By the time I get back to the beach, I'll just have pieces of lobster and one grumpy crab sat in the corner of the bag. So I'm making my way back to the beach now and I'm just going to swim back with this guy in my hands. I'm pretty happy about that. Taking him for a little tour. Flying over the kelps. Still can't believe this fizz though. You get one or two days a year like this around here. Really happy. And I am looking forward to my dinner. Got these dispatched. That creamy stuff's because I stab it in the head to dispatch it quickly before boiling it. So I'm going to plunge them in ice water and eat them tomorrow. Day two. This is a Sunday now. Raoul's joined me. The viz is still excellent. It's a little hazy today, but the big difference is the sun's obscured by clouds. Today I'm not going to be hunting things. I'm not going to be killing things. I'm going to be bringing out my big old camera. This is my Sony A6600 in a naughty cam housing with um, a couple of CNC strobes. I've not been doing that much underwater photography lately, so I'm a little bit rusty. In case you couldn't figure out what I was saying there, I was basically coming up with a plan. I'm telling him to sit above me. I'm going to go down under the kelps, sit on a patch of sand with kelp all around, shoot up through the kelps, light them with the flash, and try and get him silhouetted on the surface. Here's my first shot. That's straight off the camera. A bit of Photoshop to bring out the colours and things. It's all right. Proof of concept, that one. It's a nice idea behind that shot. Let's go try again. So Raoul's got his instructions. He's got to try and hold a sort of photogenic pose 
in the water immediately above wherever I go. Tuck myself in, nice kelpy spot. I did actually take about 30 attempts at this photo, but I'm going to show you a couple. There's the strobes flashing, that's it off the camera. Photoshop, rotate it, bring out the colours. This is a real quick five minute edit for the sake of this video, but I think that's alright. Camera's tucked behind me because I couldn't resist having another look for a lobster. That massive expensive dome port kind of out the way by holding it around the back. Then I get the strobes tangled in all this kelp. I really can't be lobster hunting with this rig in my hand. So I put it on the rock. <laughs> this is not productive multitasking here. Well, that was a great weekend. Really enjoyed that. Some lovely viz, got some cracking lobsters and a delicious brown crab. Really enjoyed eating that and managed to pop a few photos and got at least one keeper. So guys, if you did enjoy that and you haven't already subscribed, please do so because there'll be more of this kind of fun coming your way real soon. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.